some big name stores had already closed their doors with the coronavirus pandemic but now the Prime Minister has ordered all shops as we know to close except for those selling essential supplies the likes of your supermarkets your pharmacies. Let's talk to Kate Hardcastle a retail and consumer expert. Good morning to you Kate thanks so much for joining us. Uh, no bother good morning hope you're all well. We're okay I hope you're okay too. Um, what will businesses do in in the midst of this what do you think the business community will make of these measures necessary or perhaps a, a prompting a worry of how are we going to survive when this is all done well i think there's two questions there certainly elaine this has got to be something that everyone is stringent with everyone understands the human lives at risk here and i think responsible businesses are making the right decision to try and create a business around what's happening so if it's suitable retailers are moving to online if it's suitable cafes and restaurants are starting to look at maybe a takeaway delivery service which is still acceptable but in the main a lot of businesses are just having to take the government and the chancellor of the exchequer's uh, offers of last week of support and try and work out how they safeguard their business for a period of downturn because it's just not about the business element as much as it is the human lives element right now do you think there needs to be clear definitions from government for business owners about what is essential and what is non-essential because Sports Direct is everywhere in the headlines this morning and if for our listeners who haven't heard that yet they said they're going to keep their, you know, their shops open. You know, How can that be deemed essential in times like these? I think brands will uh, see this as a time that they either rallied and supported their consumers and actually made better headway for their businesses or brands will actually be reflected on as how they behaved in this time uh, at maybe as seen as not appropriate or certainly not in terms of putting human life first. I am absolutely clear that I understand what essential business trading should look like. It should be for food, pharmacy and certainly for helping our NHS workers to keep going. I can't see how any sporting shop, when we've got online retailers offering all of the products, that um, sporting goods, etc., uh, we would need to keep fit in our homes, would need to keep an actual store presence going at this time. Because if those stores are live, it's going to encourage consumers to visit those stores and therefore we're taking people out of a home that we've asked them to stay in. So I think brands will be, as I said, made, established or perhaps reflected on as putting profit before people and I absolutely would urge anyone to do exactly as we've been asked. We as the retail and business community have to act responsibly. Yes, it is frightening. Yes, we are concerned about businesses and I can certainly tell you Elaine that retail will change forever after this. We were Mm. already on a trajectory of online and I see that speeding up very much so Um, and to pull people back into stores when we are able to go back out again is going to have to be because it is a good experience and good value but that aside at this critical moment it is very challenging to understand when the majority of the business industry is working so well to do so much for others, why this would be something that's in the headlines today. And, but do you think should the government intervene and instruct Sports Direct as a business to, to close? I think they absolutely will intervene because I, I just think if it's not clear with the messaging that's been put out, I do think the message is clear, then I think there will be further restrictions in place. We've already been told of that. And I think people are going to have to just realise what they are saying and making as a statement about their business and their philosophies when they start to put trade before people. I think it's just very, very responsible for businesses to make the right choices right now, particularly ones that are run by people who have a lot of money in the bank and it perhaps might be interesting to see again how many business owners take the the responsibility and stance of helping our community at this time rather than creating more problems for our community. Simply put, if we're encouraging people to go and buy non-essential sports items from an actual physical store when there are online stores selling those products we are encouraging people in a community where we're trying to lock down and trying to safeguard people it just is absolutely illogical